my name is Hassan Sugi, a book writer uh, from the country of Chad. And I see that the book is here, so please show it to the camera. The book is here, uh, it's in a French language. Uh, you can find it on Amazon, which, wherever you are. It's in 11 bucks only. Share something about the book. It's kind of history, traditional law of history back in the days. Um, uh, I don't know how to say that, but it's kind of uh, a poor person and a rich girl's daughters uh, and superpower, and then they fall in love. For some reason, uh, it kind of seems to be very impossible. So is it a love story, basically? Yeah, a story, but kind of more fictional, a little bit historical. Yeah. Is it your first book, or you already or you already published before? It's my first book. Uh, I still have two. Uh, it's on on the way, probably by end of the year. I'm trying to work and very hard to publish in English. Okay. So, what is the next project? This book is already out. Are you working on something else? Yeah, like three, two books uh, in English. I still have a couple of things to do. Uh, English is not my first language, so I'm still working with the editors right now. What is your opinion about peace and health? Because as a writer, so uh, because this event is about health and peace. Uh, for me, without peace, there's no health. It's uh, a good answer. Yeah. Uh, if there's a peace, there's hell. And if there's no peace, there's no hell. Very true. Yeah. That's so right. Please share your social media with us. Where can we find you? What was that? Your social media. Uh, I Yeah, I have a social media, but I have only Facebook. I can give you my business card. Or Don't give it to me. Tell your name and just tell how can we find you. Yeah, like uh, Edgy Sugi, my first uh, initial and then last name. I'm Bear Fiorda. I'm a cage fighter. I hit uh, other grown men in small, tight shorts. Oh my god, I know that uh, sport and it's really scary. Is it scary from inside too? I am terrified until they punch me in the face. Then nature kind of takes over. What is your roots? Where, where are you coming from? Because a lot of people in this uh, sport coming from Eastern Europe. Mm -hmm. Oh yes, and especially very dominant wrestlers. You see very athletic, strong individuals. I'm from California, so United States, and actually I have a Taekwondo base. I'm a mar traditional martial artist, and I found myself in the world of cage fighting after getting my butt kicked by a kickboxer. So I thought I gotta learn a little bit more. So I started to branch out. Soon enough, found myself in a oddly shaped circle punching other grown men. Wow. So this event is about health and peace. Uh, I couldn't uh, say it. It's not the first thing that I, I would say about cage fighting, you know. <laughs> but what uh, what what does it mean for you? What what does it mean health and peace for you? I totally understand. On the surface, it sounds kind of backwards, given we had to damage each other. No, I actually I run a nonprofit where I teach other individuals, youth, adults, senior, how to defend themselves for free. It's called Free MMA. And when I heard about this organization that also empowers other people, albeit from a different country, I knew I had to come out and. Show my support as well. What was the biggest game what you ever attend on? The biggest, the biggest fight that I've been in? I fought on UFC Fight Pass for Fury FC back in July. So that was my biggest one so far. What was the result? I got knocked out in 42 seconds. <laughs> it wasn't my shining moment, but I looked cool out there for 42 seconds. And tonight, will you present an award, or uh, are you cam uh, came here for just support? I'm just here to support tonight. I didn't. I was not a presenter, but hey, maybe next time, one day in the future, I'd love to come on and do it. Thank you so much for stopping by, and please share your social media with us, or how can we see your game, your, your fights? Absolutely, you guys can follow me everywhere at Bear Fiorda, Bear like the animal, F I O R D A, and my nonprofit's also at Free MMA Gyms.